Alright, hey, back at you again for a super quick little episode, maybe five minutes if that. Um, but uh, got to run and go do some things. Uh, got to clean this room. Got so many things to do, uh, which does in a way kind of lead into what I wanted to just mention really quick. Let me fix this light. Uh, see if that's any better. Alright, so today's a little subcast. I was thinking about it this morning on my run. And part of it was a combination of thinking about it on my run and actually, uh, I think it was... Uh, was it Kevin Hart? I was watching a little thing of his on Snapchat or something like that. And I was thinking about it and, you know, I go for that morning run. I try to do that. I try to take care of myself. try to do things. Uh, some mornings it's cold. Some mornings you just don't want to get up. Some mornings it's early. Uh, people ask why you do that. You know, I mean, I want to take care of myself. I don't want to do things. But also, what I really liked the way it was said and it was summed up really good was um, take time to invest in yourself. And... When I say take time to invest in yourself, it doesn't have to be get up and go for a morning run. It doesn't have to be go work out in the garage or the compound. It doesn't it doesn't have to be a physical thing actually, you know. Taking time to invest in yourself might be taking time to sit down, read a book, sit down, open up that drawing pad and work on a drawing that you would want to work on. Get some paints out, get some clay. Um, you know, and these are all things that uh, obviously relate to me being, you know, as an artist, an art teacher, uh, and a coach, and I like to work out, I like to draw, I like art, you know, I like all those things. But as we get caught up in our lives and the busyness that we go through, through our work day, throughout um, whatever it is that we're doing, a, a lot of it is, you know, our work days, we spend the majority of our time at work, and, you know, you come home and you get tired, and, you know, you don't always want to do everything that you need to do, or it's there's always one thing after another, you know, it's like n this little uh, subcast is going to be real real quick subcast. We've got to go uh, pick up the kids from a play practice, you know, as they, they're involved in different things. And different times of the year just get, get busier and busier and hectic and more hectic and, and we're just wishing for the weekend, which are then filled up with other things you got to go do to make up for the time that you didn't have over the week. And, you know, there's just so many different things that's going on that um, I just really wanted to get at it and it was like, find time to invest in you. And whatever that is, whatever that looks like, you, you got to find time to take care of yourself because it's hard to take care of yourself, um, take care of others without taking care of yourself. You know, it's the whole, you know, on an airplane with oxygen mask. They say, you know, if you have somebody traveling with you that's unable, get the mask on you first so that you can be able to take care of the others. Um, too often what we find is we find ourselves spreading ourselves thin and we do everything else for everybody else and everything and then we look back and we haven't spent any time on ourselves and taking care of ourselves and, and bettering ourselves and that was other I guess the other quick part of this that I wanted to get into before I left was um, I was looking at it and uh, again it was from that same video Kim Hart and it talked about intensity and trying to do things with an intensity and what I found interesting was like too often we think of intensity and we think of like it having to be like all the way to the wall, you know, you know, um, the pedal to the floor, full out, 100%. That's like high intensity. And yes, what that is, like everybody's intensity level is different for somebody else. So you know, if you really like have short time on something, you really want like to have something be really intense. Like you got to find out what that means to you and how that is, and whether that's through a physical workout or an intense painting session or just whatever it is it may be. I just I really found it an interesting concept to think of like what's intense to one person is not intense to another person you know so it's all a matter of perspective um you know 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 you get to know you like when you invest in yourself you get to know yourself how hard to push yourself and when to actually sometimes like investing in yourself is peeling back from that intensity level and realizing that I need a little bit of a break. I need to uh, take care of myself. I need to, you know, maybe go have a cheat meal. I maybe need to, you know, like indulge and just relax and, and maybe sleep in or something could be taking care of yourself. That's investing in yourself. Um, it's one that I think about a lot, like, you know, just uh, lack of sleep. But, you know, fun way to invest in yourself. Um, and try to do something daily with that and that's not even one that we need to worry about like doing once a week twice a week whatever that may be like you got to find a way to invest in yourself daily and again it doesn't have to be physical it can be five minutes of meditation it can be going to read a book like I said drawing you know like whatever it is or it could be like hey you know just you know a quick little circuit round is, is all you need for a day you know but find a way to invest in yourself and also think about this every time we get up every day you get up that's another day you have an opportunity a gift whatever it is however you want to look at it to better yourself and to maybe not even not also 
better yourself or get back to where you were, depending on how you're looking at things. But always set a goal to be better than you were before. So every day, invest in yourself. Try to better yourself. Um, the status quo, you know, like if you're just settling for average and settling for that, you know, I mean, I don't think you're going to find a whole lot of fulfillment in your life, whatever it is that you're doing. So, you know, let's... <clears throat> Invest in ourselves and go for the best possible version, which I'm going to guarantee is going to be if the best possible version of you is going to be a better version of you than you currently have today. So you got to go out and strive to get to that better goal every day. All right, guys, like I said, quick time, got to go run, got to go do a few more things uh, before we get to sit down. And, uh, you know, uh, maybe I'll get to invest in myself a little bit later on, maybe get another little workout in, or I know I've got to do uh, um, some little videos for. For class, you know, I always enjoy doing that, so that's kind of you know, all within that same uh, same realm of things. But all right, um, go out, do the best you can, avoid average. Uh, go out, happy hunting. You know, for those of you who've been following along, uh, the few will hunt. So you know, everybody wants to eat, but few will hunt. So um, those that want to hunt, they've got to take care of themselves too. So invest in yourself, take care of it, guys, and uh, we will hire you later on. All right. Bye bye. <laughs>